and welcome back. Today we're doing the second video on the fourth. Now, when I did the video on the thirds, yeah, we talked about major and minor thirds. Now, a fourth is a perfect interval. Fourths don't have major and minor. However, they do have diminished and augmented. Yeah, now most fourths in a scale are going to be perfect or pure. Yeah. Now, that means that within that fourth, there is going to be one semitone somewhere. Yeah, between one of the fingers, there's going to be a semitone. Now, if there's no semitones, now the fourth is a semitone too big. That's called an augmented fourth. Yeah. And the diminished fourth is the opposite. That's when there's two semitones inside your fourth. So you have a semitone, a tone, and a semitone. Yeah. And then you have a diminished fourth. Now, that's easy enough when you talk about playing fourths on one string, you can just build your fingers accordingly. However, on across strings it is a little bit different. Remember that uh, with the thirds, a major third was a smaller distance than a minor third. Now with the fourths it's going to be the same. Yeah. So, for example, let's say we go from second finger to a first finger on the next string. Yeah? Now, you see that my finger is about a tone apart, only they are on different strings. Now that is your perfect fourth, yeah? Now if I make the distance smaller, now I'm going to bring the highest note of the fourth has just gone higher. So now, even though the distance is smaller, we have an augmented fourth. instead of and of course if I bring it down now we have a diminished fourth but we have this massive distance of a turn and a half between my first and second finger yes on different strings but yeah remember this most of the fourths in scale are going to be perfect in which case Yes, one finger is on one string and another finger is on another, but the fingers are one tone apart. The only thing you have to remember is the one that is different. Yeah. So, good luck with that. And, uh, oh, by the way, the one that's different, that's an augmented fourth. You'll find out where. Anyway, we're going to play it now at 60, the same exercise. Keep repeating until it's easy, as always, and then we move on. Here we go. 60. <coughs> Straight from the open G string. 1, 2, 3, 4.
So that's it. Lots of things to think about, yeah? All the preparations, make sure that you be ready. Before you have to place those fingers, make sure you float the right finger pattern. Yeah, when you remove the fingers, don't let go completely. Stay close, yeah? Keep the finger pattern inside your hand and then drop it. Yeah, it's just practice, muscle memory, and practice and repeat. It doesn't happen by itself. You need to think and keep concentrating on what your fingers are actually doing. As soon as you have the control, you'll notice that a lot of things will just be so much easier. Yeah, be patient and I'll see you at the next one. Bye.